Where's the best place to snorkel in Puerto Rico? There are so many beautiful beaches to swim and dive at, especially in Culebra and Vieques, but you don't even have to take a ferry to get to the beautiful reef we'll show you today. It's right on the west coast of Puerto Rico in the town of Aguadilla. In this video, we're going on a snorkeling adventure in Playa Peña Blanca and Crash Boat Beach. Please subscribe so you can travel all around beautiful Puerto Rico with us. We're walking over to Peña Blanca Beach. I'm so excited to go snorkeling here today. The reef is so beautiful and the water is so clear. We're gonna get some great shots because it's nice and sunny today. Can't wait for you guys to see this beautiful coral reef. It's like a forest of corals with so many different colors and shapes. So now we're gonna explore this beautiful area and I'm gonna go in the water and snorkel and see how it looks. Something nice is that this area seems to have no sargassum algae, which the, all the beaches on the North Shore in July right now are covered in sargassum. Hey, check out that iguana. Peña Blanca has a fine sandy shoreline spotted with huge boulders and small caves that give it an enchanted pirate island kind of feel. The water here is a vibrant turquoise blue and is crystal clear all year round. The contrast between the bright aquas of the water and the white sand makes this beach among the most beautiful in the whole world. The beach itself may be small, but the swimming area is immense if you have good fins and are willing to snorkel just a little bit past the shore. Underwater, you'll find views of a whole other paradise. What I find really special about this reef is its gigantic sea plumes, which are the feathery tree-like corals that make this reef look like a huge underwater forest. In mainland Puerto Rico, I personally have never found so many varieties of different corals in one place where you can snorkel from the shore. Some people go all the way to Culebra to swim with sea turtles. Tamarindo Beach in Culebra is a great place to find sea turtles during their nesting season and it is well worth a visit. But if you don't have time to take the ferry, you can still find plenty of sea turtles in Peña Blanca and other west coast beaches. Look at this beautiful green sea turtle I got to swim with at Peña Blanca. Sea turtles are so inspirational to watch. Their gracefulness and intricate shell patterns are enchanting. Do make sure to give them enough space so they don't get too scared to go up for air. In Puerto Rico, you can also find rare hawksbill turtles and gigantic leatherbacks, but the green sea turtle is the most common. Have you ever seen a sea turtle in Puerto Rico? What species was it and where did you find it? We'd love to hear from you, so share your experience in the comments below. Blanca is home to a huge variety of colorful tropical fish species. A fellow snorkeler told me she's also seen nurse sharks and stingrays here. Just had an amazing snorkel at Peña Blanca. I saw a gorgeous little sea turtle and so many beautiful corals and fish. This is a wonderful place to come snorkeling. Especially if you don't have time to get to Culebra or Vieques, this is a really good alternative because the reef is so pretty. The only thing I would say about this beach is be careful and try to bring a buoy if you can because there are a lot of jet skis who get way too close to, close to the snorkelers, which is really not cool. <laughs> going to show you another beach right down the road from Peña Blanca with an amazing yet completely different kind of snorkeling experience. When you're in Aguadilla, you have to check out Crash Boat Beach. This is one of the most popular and famous beaches on the island. So it is a good idea to try to get here early in the morning or on a weekday if you can. This beach is famous for its beautiful white sand and turquoise water and these docks where you can jump off and snorkel with a lot of beautiful fish. Snorkeling at Crash Boat is super fun. I never get tired of coming here to snorkel and free dive because the water is always so crystal clear and there are so many adorable fish. 
You can jump off of one of the docks into the water, and under the last pier you'll instantly be surrounded by unbelievably friendly yellow and black fish called Sergeant Majors. There are also blue tangs, file fish, and colorful sponges and corals. It's a great place to practice your underwater photography. For adventurous snorkelers who like to do a bit of free diving, you can dive down to explore the ruins of an old dock. Sometimes this area has huge tarpons and even sharks. You can even rent scuba gear if you want to really get up close and personal with the deeper views. It's a totally different snorkeling experience than Peña Blanca. It has just that little bit of creepiness component to it that activates your adrenaline and makes you feel like an explorer. So where do you think is the best place to snorkel in Puerto Rico? Comment below and we'll tally up the votes. Next spring, we'll make a video about the place that people vote for the most. Some of the locals say that this beach is named for a huge sunken boat. Could this be it? Crash Boat has a gorgeous long shoreline that makes it really fun to photograph with a drone. Just remember that to fly a drone in this area, you need to get Lance authorization and stay under 100 feet since it's close to an airport. This beach is very popular with the locals and for good reason. You'll see kids jumping off the docks into the water all day long. The air is full of tropical music and the atmosphere is always incredibly festive. So I just had a super fun time snorkeling in Crash Boat. It's a great place to snorkel, especially if you're adventurous and you want to dive down and look at all the ruins, look for sharks and big tarpons and stuff. Um, and you can always see the really, really bright yellow Sergeant Major fish, which are really friendly because I think people feed them. And it's really fun for kids to jump off the docks. I actually think it could, be, it could be called Splash Boat Beach because everybody's always splashing in the water and having such a great time. Even if you don't particularly want to go snorkeling, it's a great place to bring your kids to swim on this side. The water is pretty calm and shallow and it has a nice sandy bottom with no rocks. So it's just a beautiful beach to visit and you have to come see it if you're in Aguadilla. Something wonderful about Crash Boat Beach is that it has something for everyone and your whole family to enjoy. You can rent a kayak, paddleboard, or even a banana boat. Aguadilla is also a very convenient town to visit because it has numerous hotels and restaurants. At Gabby's favorite Aguadilla restaurant, Mona, you can get the best brunch of your life. My favorite place to eat is Kaylin Thai, which serves spectacular authentic curries and other gorgeous dishes. There's even a chocolate shop that makes its own chocolate delicacies from cacao grown right in San Sebastián, Puerto Rico. Aguadilla is a gorgeous town that everyone should visit on their trip to Puerto Rico. Its pristine beaches are among the most beautiful in the world. At Peña Blanca, you can snorkel from the shore to see one of the most beautiful reefs in mainland Puerto Rico. And at Crash Boat, you can enjoy local culture and more fun snorkeling. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll show you how to fit an Aguadilla trip into your next Puerto Rico vacation, even if you only have five days on the island. Until then, go out, live, explore, and enjoy the beautiful places all around you.